Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be testing where winds meet on my ROG LI running on Linux based Bazite operating system. LI comes with Radian 780M GPU which is based on RDNA 3 architecture. I'll be showing you how to use the int 8 model of FSR 4 upscaler in conjunction with OptiScaler XCSS frame generation. You can even use the FP8 model of FSR 4.0.2 upscaler by following any of my older guides. The thing is. FSR 4.0.2 FP8 model underperforms on RDNA 3 GPUs compared to Int 8 model of FSR 4. Game officially supports FSR 3.1 upscaling, even frame generation. Both of them produce a lot of graphical artifacts, would not recommend using them. FSR 3 upscaler makes the vegetation look a bit grainy, also produces very aggressive ghosting around a character model. Unfortunately, some ghosting is still present when using FSR 4 upscaler. Even DLSS upscaler produces some ghosting in this game, it is what it is. The game officially supports DLSS frame generation and a streamlined version newer than version 2. So we can use DLSSG via streamline as the frame generation source for enabling XCSS frame generation. Won't be required to deal with hard fix. After enabling XCFG using this method, we need to edit one setting via optiscaler.infi in order to prevent XCFG from getting disabled when we launch the game the next time. On ROG Ally, when you run the game for the first time, make sure you launch it in Bazaar 2 s desktop mode. Do not launch it in gaming mode, otherwise you will get stuck at startup screen. You will just see a black screen. When you run it for the first time, shaders will get compiled. So booting into the menu will take longer than the subsequent runs. Once you boot into the gameplay, just exit the game, then switch to gaming mode. Also it is very important to use the latest version of G-Proton. I'll be using G Proton version 10-25 as the compatibility layer. Properties, compatibility, and there it is. You can download it from Proton or Qt app. This app is available on Bazaar store. There it is. Open. And this window will pop up. Just click on add version. Compatibility tool. Select G Proton and download the latest version from here. Click on install. I have already done it. We'll be using the latest preview 5 build of OptiScaler mod version 0.9.2025.1106. It's available on their Discord server. I'll give the link to their Discord in the description. Click on the .7z link here. Download will start. FSR SDK was leaked a couple of months ago. It included files corresponding to the int 8 model of FSR 4. These files could be compiled into an FSR 4 DLL. Big thanks to Reddit user Athlete Dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Click on the go file link and from this page download AMD Fidelity FX upscaler tx 12dll file by clicking on download here. Now I'll be installing OptiScaler mod. Just open Dolphin File Explorer, go to downloads. Here you will find the files that you just downloaded. I have transferred them to another directory. It does not matter. Open OptiScaler's archive file. Click on extract. Extract current directory. Wait for the extraction process to complete. Finished, close the archive window. Open the extracted folder. I'll be using the file name d3d12 for OptiScaler mod. This is the file name I usually use with online games. Even TXTF file name should work. OptiScaler.dll file selected, right click, rename, type d3d12. Use mods in online games at your own risk. I won't be responsible if your account gets banned. Okay. Just open optiscaler.ini file. Won't be using optiscaler's TXTI spoofing feature to unlock the in-game DLSS settings. Scroll down until you find spoofing section. And there it is. Under this section, look for a line name DXGI and just set it to false. This will disable DXGI spoofing. Click on save, close. Now just select the highlighted files. Optiscaler.ini mod configuration file libxcss underscore fg.dll xcss frame gen file libxcss.dll xcss super resolution file for dx12 and vulkan aps libxcll.dll xcss low latency mode file fake nv api.dll fake nv api.ini fake nv api will replace in game reflex implementation with xcll not using nucum 9 mod dcd12.dll file mod loader file Vulkan version of Realty FX not required select all of the TX12 versions of Realty FX files right click copy open the games install directory select the game in your stream library right click manage click on browse local files 
Open engine folder, binaries folder, Win64R folder, paste the files here, 10 items. Now I will be installing the intake version of FSR4 upscaler. Just copy its AMD Fidelity FX upscaler TX12.tll file that you downloaded from Reddit. Open the games install directory. Open engine folder, binaries folder, Win64R folder, paste the file here. Replace the existing file, paste one file. Overwrite. That's it. Don't need to add any launch argument to the game in order to get OptiScaler mod working. See, switch to gaming mode. Beside OS system info, MyLS running on BIOS version 3.4.2, OS version 43. I have set the UMA buffer size to 4 GB. Video driver, MESA 25.2.7. Show you handheld daemon settings now. TDP value set to 20 cent, watch TDP boost disable using a very aggressive fan curve. CPU settings, CPU power set to low, CPU boost disable. GPU frequency set to auto. Connected my FlyDG Beta 4 Pro controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode, X input controller, SteamOS compatibility unknown. Okay. Yeah, very important, need to select the second option. DirectX 12 version of the game, otherwise frame generation won't work. Yeah, we are in loading. Performance game settings, whole level set to 3. Frame limit 120, VRR enabled. Display, mode set to windowed, 900p resolution, no FPS cap applied, VSync off, motion blur disabled. Upscaler TLSS, this means OptiScaler is working using its balance preset. Ambient occlusion, effect quality and reflection quality set to low, rest of the settings set to medium, real time sunlight set to close. Once the game loads up, just press the insert keyboard key to open OptiScaler menu, there it is. I'll increase its size, click on the drop down bar next to menu US scale, set the value to 1.2. Upscaler selected XCSS version 2.0.0, input, in game DLSS upscaler, TXJS spoofing, it's off. Auto expert setting is on. Ok, I'll just switch to FSR for upscaler, click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler and select 3, beg your pardon, select FSR 3.x as the option, click on change upscaler again. Yeah, intake model is working now, we cannot change the model for FSR 4 with this build of OptiScaler, stick with the default one, just enable this setting non-linear color space, it will help in reducing ghosting. Frame generation disabled for the time being, I'll just enable OptiScaler's performance overlay, expand FPS overlay section, check the setting FPS overlay enable, top right position full plus graph scale 1.3, base resolution 941 by 529 pixels upscale to 900p, save and I close. Yeah, there's a character, straight away jump into the open world, hey we are getting close to 40 fps, 35 to 40 fps, not hitting the GPU bottleneck, game's performance seems to be limited by the single core CPU performance, maybe a memory bandwidth limitation, ok, when I spin the camera around some ghosting is produced around a character model, see, especially around our weapon, even DLSS upscaler produces this ghosting, it is what it is, I am looking for some NPCs, there they are, engage in combat, vegetation, it's not looking pixelated, FSR 3 upscaler makes them look pixelated, the plants and the trees, not going to mind me, use my skills, target this guy, 33 to 40 FPS during combat, Scale FSR4. Now I'll show you how to enable XCSS frame generation using OptiScaler mod. Open the mod menu, click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select DLSS GY Streamline. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. Save and I close. And just restart the game. Oh no, someone's attacking me. It's NPC. Play. Select DirectX 12 as the option. 
Once the game loads up, open OptiScaler menu and check the setting active under XEFG. This will enable XSS for engine. Check the debug view setting. You will see these purple sidebars flickering. If XCSS for engine is working, yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. FPS increased to around 70. Uncheck debug view. Check the setting. Show detected UI. It will highlight the game's hard elements pink in color. They won't exhibit any flickering with XEFG enabled. See. Even across here, phone flicker, highlighted pink in color. Uncheck the show detected UI setting. Click on save INI. Now we need to edit one setting via optiscaler.ini file in order to prevent XCFG from getting disabled when we run the game the next time. Exit the game. Switch to desktop mode. Go to the games install directory where you install OptiScaler mod. Engine, binaries, Win64R, look for optiscaler.ini file. And there it is, open it. Click on edit, click on find, and just type high res, then hit enter. You will find this line, high res mv under xcfg section, just need to set it to auto, set to true by default. Now click on save. Close, select the file optiscaler.ini, right click properties, click on permissions, click on the drop down bar next to owner and just set it to can only view, ok, that's it, switch to gaming mode, launch the game in direct test 12 mode, yeah we are in, xcfg is still working, you can verify this via optiscaler menu, streamline fg state it's on, the worker on work and check out the smoothing effect of XCFG working properly 75 fps and our character shadow it's not flickering FSR frame generation causes it to flicker and that's why I didn't use it I am looking for a signpost there it is in track with it it will produce a ghost image of another player and when you move the camera around no flickering will be produced around the ghost image in game FSR frame generation produces some flickering. So, very good results produced by XCFG in this game. Call my horse. No tearing effect is produced around the left and right edges of the display when I spin the camera with XCFG on. Okay, I'll engage in combat. Looking for those NPCs. There they are. Dismount observing some texture pop in issue. The spam abilities can even block and parry our enemies' attacks in this game. Yeah, the hard elements they are not flickering as you can see. Only one guy. There was a chest here, I have already looted it. So that's it with the video guys, I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.